Hey everybody. Happy Monday, September 27th. <laughs> September's almost gone. Whoa. I'm an hour later than usual on Monday for Make It Monday. And I wasn't sure I'd make it, but I made it. So yay. My mom has been in the, uh, we took her to a, just a follow-up appointment with a doctor and, um, wasn't sure I'd get back in time, but I did. So if you're on, please say hello. I see eyeballs on me through my software, but unless you comment in the comments, I don't know who's here. I'd love to chat with you. Hi, Donna. I'm a bit of a disheveled mess, but I hurried. Um, well, we, I, we didn't hurry, but we got home after lunch and I thought, hey, it's only 2.20. I think I can maybe do this. So I prefer to do it. Um, my glasses are reflecting. I prefer to do it on Monday than to um, try and do it on Tuesday. So because um, Tuesdays are full too. So anyway, so ha how are you all? I hope you're all doing good. Um, I don't have any new news. September is almost over. If you placed an order with me during the month of September that was over $50, I am working on the card kits. And I had originally said there'll be three cards, but I decided I'm going to do like my normal um, card class kit to go and do four cards. So those, um, I'm working on those and um, those will be, um, I'll be posting pictures uh, once I get that all done and um, those will be out and on the way to you before October gets here. Um, so that's the only news. If you would like to, um, if you place an order before the end of September, you can still get the celebration items. So something out of the um, celebration brochure um, through the end of September. I haven't seen any um, anything that's not available or sold out yet. So those items are still available with a um, $50 order or more. And then in addition to that, you would also get my card kit. So, um, oops, I just found a scrap that I'm going to need for a project. <laughs> Hi, Carol. So the card today is a little punch art and like I was rushing through getting things ready and I didn't do any stamping on this card so we're going to have to figure that out as we go. <laughs> but we will. So I'm going to move my camera back here in front of my face. And whoops. All right, what's happening? There we go. <laughs> Gee, many Christmas. There we go. Oh, the lighting's off a little bit today. This is the card that we're going to make using um, a punch. Um, it's a pumpkin, duh. And um, real simple and easy. I've done some similar projects in the past. I was going to try and dig out some of my... I made a 3D basket using oval um, ovals, and it looks like a, a pumpkin basket. And um, after I get done here, hopefully I didn't pitch it, but I'll try and pull that out so you can see that option um, using ovals to make a pumpkin. Um, I'm using the little um, double oval punch, which is in the annual catalog. So it's in the back with all the punches. If you have the old oval um, dies, they work as well. They would be, you know, different sizes. You could make big pumpkins and little pumpkins. So I'm using the double oval punch and I'm going to use the larger scalloped one that's on the top. Um, if you don't have a catalog, I would love to get you one. If you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, just holler at me and we will get one out to you. Um, the stamp set we're using, actually, we, we're not using any of the stamps from the stamp. I am using the dies, which here is the die cuts that coordinate with the Gorgeous Leaves stamp set. So I'm going to use the punch and a couple of the leaf dies, and then we'll find a sentiment as we go, and we'll um, 
stamp something on the inside. We could put a little sen sentiment down here um, if we choose to do so. So we'll see how that goes. The paper I'm using for my pumpkin is from the um, Regals 6x6 Designer Series Paper. Don't forget about these Color Family um, Designer Series Paper Packs in the back of the catalog. They're really great for backgrounds, and I'm using, of course, the little um, plaid print in pumpkin pie for my pumpkin. And then for my green color, I'm using just um, a scrap of mossy meadow, and that's also my background layer. So let's get going on that. Um, here's a card we made last week using that um, gorgeous leaves. And I don't believe I used any stamps on that one either. <gasps> I'm going to have to make something using the actual stamps. I think I did. What did we make using this? Oh, we made the big 3D pumpkin. It's up on my, my, my shelf there. <laughs> so I did use the stamps for that. I'm just loving the dies a lot. Okay. So, what we're going to do is find our card kit. <laughs> I started with a base of, of the um, basic white thick, whoops, sorry. I don't know if y'all like to see my face or not. <laughs> i just like you to know I'm not um, <laughs> just a pair of hands talking at you. Um, this is the thick basic white that's Eight and a half by five and a half. I scored it at four and a fourth and folded it in half to make an A2. This is called an A2 card. And that is going to be our card base. The first layer on our card is a piece of five and a fourth by four mossy meadow. And we will just quickly adhere that onto our card base, card front. I think I ran out of the stamp and seal, so we'll use the stamp and seal plus. This will be extra strong. So I'm just layering that on the white. You could make your card base out of the mossy meadow. And then just put an insert in the in um, inside of your card, but I I just, like I said, I kind of threw this together this afternoon when I got home, and I kind of liked the white frame around it. It kind of gave it a clean look. Then I cut a piece of, this is three and three quarter by five, no, four. I'm pretty sure. Three and three quarter by five. I was right the first time. Always trust your gut. <laughs> and I ran that through the um, stamp and cut emboss machine using the Tasteful textile, Textiles 3D embossing folder. That's an oldie but goldie. It's in the annual catalog. It just gives it a little, little texture on the back. So we're going to um, adhere that to the card front. Whoops, see this... this um, what do you call this? Stamp and Seal Plus is just almost too strong sometimes. So I'm going to use some liquid glue here. Since my Stamp and Seal is run out. That's probably a little overkill. So that's my second layer. You see the texture on that? Okay loves the fall colors and Donna is loving that set. I love this gorgeous leaves set. It is so pretty and it's very classic and um, something that will be around for, um, you know, you'll have it forever. It's not a, a fad, a passing fad. Okay, the pumpkin. Let's get to the pumpkin. So I took a piece of the, here went my catalog. Um, six by six 
regals in the pumpkin pie. And I chose the little um, plaid pattern. Just going to straighten this edge out a little bit. And I need two, four, five of these ovals. Okay, and that's all we're going to punch. And then to give them a little dimension, I did go ahead and um, used a this is not a stampin' sponge sponge dauber. <laughs> My brain's a little fried. And I'm just going to use some pumpkin pie ink and um, sponge the edges. It's kind of magical how doing that gives it a little bit of dimension, just kind of shading the edges. I guess it appears to be a shadow, so it makes it look like it has a little dimension. But we're going to give it a little bit more dimension with some Stampin' Dimensionals, too. But I went ahead on all the ovals and did that with the pumpkin pie ink. Then the I kind of put my pumpkin together, decided how big I wanted it to be before I put it on the card front. So I took these two on the outside. Y'all... Did I punch five or did I only punch four? Did one fly away? Hmm. Am I losing it? <laughs> what else is new, right? We'll do one more. I swear I did five, but like I said, we've been kind of rushing around, left the house early this morning. I haven't really had time to take a breath. Okay, now we've got five for sure. <laughs> so I'm going to make my little pumpkin. I'm going to decide how wide I want it to be. I don't know. That's, that's kind of how I did it. And then we're going to put two and then finally the one in the middle. Okay. So these I'm going to pop up with dimensionals. So I'm just going to put two dimensionals over here. Oops, that one kind of shows. And I think what I'll do first is adhere this one to the other one. And then I can put a couple more dimensionals over on this edge. You're kind of lining them up. It looks kind of weird and it doesn't really make sense until you put that center one on there. Okay? And then we're going to fuck. In fact, I've got these a little close together. I'm going to pull them apart a little bit. There we go. Then we're going to put this final one on here. 
with some dimensionals. And there's our little pumpkin. Okay, now I'm going to add the little stem. And for that, I just took a thin little tiny um, piece of early espresso cardstock. And just made a stem. Nothing fancy on about that at all. And I took, we're going to do some die cutting. Okay, this one, <laughs> like what? I'm going to just do two little um, leaves. This is so simple. Just a quick little simple fall card. This would be fun for Thanksgiving. You could even turn this into a Halloween card. Um, change up some of your colors. Maybe add a black uh, layer there instead of the mossy meadow layer. And then um, cut some little triangles out for eyes. Some of these little dudes like to stay in there. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so there's our little leaves. And I'm just going to kind of adhere them onto each other with a little liquid glue. And then adhere them onto the um, little stem that I cut out, which might be hard to see in this light with this silicone mat. We're going to cover all the mess up here in a minute with a piece of um, linen thread anyway. Yes, Donna Pollock, you are very right when you say that, yes. It does help, especially when you're using some intricate dies like these, to run it through several times so you don't get, it helps to get all those um, little pieces cut. It's also, um, you know, depends on the condition of your plates, like my plates are, um, they're well used. I probably should get new. But if it's working, <laughs> I'd rather spend my money on a new stamp set or something. So. Okay, there's our little pumpkin. Now, I just adhere uh, excuse me, my nose itches. I just am going to adhere this flat to the card front. Put a couple dimensionals on those. Just going to put it in the center of the card. Okay. And then I'm going to take a little piece of 
my dog got a hold of my um, <laughs> linen thread do whopper so it's a little bit of a mess And you can either use a um, little mini glue dot. I'm just going to use a little bit more extra liquid glue. that cute? can trim off a little bit of the twine. I thought it looked kind of fun leaving it kind of long and curly like that. Okay, we can put a sentiment on the front. What do I have here on my desk? Because the Gorgeous Leaves stamp set is only images, it does not have sentiments. The front does look a little empty, but let me grab something. These brushed metallic adhesive back dots will be pretty on this, I think. So there's copper and gold and what is this green? Let's use some of that those green ones. I'm not sure that it's mossy meadow, but I don't know. I'm still thinking it needs a little something. Maybe if we put a sentiment on with our the little small oval punch. What is this one? I know what we need. Um, this is what you call um, on the fly, stamping on the fly. <laughs> I'll be right back. I, I'm going to grab something. Okay, this is a retired stamp set. It's not what I was looking for. <laughs> Sorry about that. I'll probably have to edit this video before I send it over to YouTube. Um, but I think this, um, a heartfelt thanks for everything would be great for this card.
can't remember if this was a host set. Um, but it works with our postage stamp um, punch and this oval punch perfectly. It was made for it. So let's grab a piece of, here we go, Whisper White and some of the Memento. I'm going to throw this under here since I don't It was a hostess set. Kay says, yes, it was a hostess set. So if you all were lucky enough to grab one of these. And then I think I'm going to grab this. Some more Mossy Meadow. You guys can kind of see how I figure things out. <laughs> I had the pumpkin in my head. Um, last night and I thought I'm going to try and make a pumpkin with that punch and um, so when I came down here at 220 I put the pumpkin together really fast but then I was like okay what else are we going to do with this and we're going to stick this right there that looks so much better Okay, we could even put our pumpkin over here a little bit. Sorry guys, I'm a little wonky on here. And then put our um, sentiment right there. I think that's what I'll do. So let's put a little bit more. Adhesive. There we go. I like that much better. And then I'm going to put my little um, and I think I'm going to put gold instead of the green just to give it a little bit more. I like that much better. Much better. There we go. You can even put a couple more down here. There, much better. I'll clean this one up after we get off. <laughs> and I don't even know if I needed all six of those. I don't know. I'll play with it. You guys, I'll, you'll see the final picture later. <laughs> okay. Thanks for uh, joining joining me this afternoon on kind of on the fly here. Um, I will be back Wednesday um, for Coffee and a Card at 2 p.m. I did check my calendar before I jumped on this afternoon. So thanks so much for hopping in. We will talk to you on Wednesday. Have a great afternoon. Bye-bye.